When I got out of the hospital, I asked for my records, and it took them a little while to produce them. And then they gave me this document that was about a half inch thick, and at the very, very back of the document, there's a final page, and at the very top is one line, and it says, diagnosed with bipolar disorder. My impression was that I had had this very unusual experience in my life, but having one unusual experience to me doesn't mean that I have a lifelong illness. But the more I took psych drugs and the deeper my relationship came to seeing a psychiatrist, well then slowly I started to actually buy into the idea that, oh, I must be bipolar because they locked me up and they're giving me these drugs and I'm taking the drugs and, well, I don't need to go any further than that. I, I must be bipolar. So for me, releasing the label of bipolar and going back to being John Harold was a really, really important thing that I needed to do. And for me personally, the way that I was able to do that was to cease taking psych drugs and to stop having a relationship with psychiatry. I, I want to see what life is like as John Harold, and I want to see what I'm like without these drugs. And I did encounter a lot of pain, but I kept remembering, I'm really suffering right now, but the suffering that I'm in is not proof that I'm bipolar. It's proof that I'm healing. And that is what helped get me through the withdrawal process. It was a very painful time. You know, life has been painful since withdrawing off of psychiatric drugs. I think I'm a more emotional person than I used to be. I cry a lot more easily than I used to. I sometimes say that I was, uh, I was incarcerated for a year and five days instead of saying just for five days because it's about a year that I was taking these hardcore psychiatric drugs. And that was its own type of prison. That was kind of like a chemical prison. Mm -hmm.